I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're going to learn something today. There's a claim that's going around Facebook that Betaflight 317 has a failsafe bug that if you're using air mode, then failsafe doesn't work right. And people are claiming that the props have spun and injured themselves. Oh, all kinds of horrors, horrors. Betaflight has a bug. Oh my gosh. Yeah, well, you know what? Turns out you can't believe everything you read on Facebook, and I'm going to prove it. Folks, I'm going to get right to the point with this one. Normally, I would go on and on for a long time, but many of you would tune out, and I don't want you to do that. I'm going to get right to the point of exactly what's going on here and why Betaflight does not have a failsafe bug. This is getting way blown out of proportion. If Betaflight did have a failsafe bug, that would be a pretty big freaking deal. But Betaflight is getting unfairly accused of something that is not true, and I'm going to put a stop to it right freaking now. What happened is a person claimed that his receiver came disconnected. And when that happened, his quadcopter spun the motors. Fortunately for him, it was upside down at the time. It spun the motors digging a hole into the ground. And he was able to reproduce it every time he unplugged his receiver from the flight controller, this time with the props off on the bench. The quadcopter would not go into failsafe. The motors would spin. And he also dug further into this and found that when he had air mode enabled as a mode, then it, everything worked correctly. But when he had air mode enabled as a feature in the command line, then failsafe didn't work. Now here's what actually happened. This is the bug report that this person filed on GitHub and he posted his command line dump. And if we look at his command line dump, you'll see right here, feature minus failsafe. This person has disabled failsafe in his quadcopter. And if we look at this comment, you can see that he's asked about that. And he says, I disabled stage two failsafe since I wanted the quad to just drop in failsafe. I didn't see anything in stage two that I needed. So what happened here is that this person didn't fully understand how failsafe works. He turned failsafe off and then, surprise, surprise, when the receiver disconnected, the quadcopter motors kept spinning. He turned failsafe off. Of course, the quadcopter did exactly what it was told to do. That's not a bug. Now, you could certainly argue, why does Betaflight even let you turn failsafe? Should you ever even be able to turn failsafe off? I think that's a good question. But the fact remains that Betaflight gives you the option to turn failsafe off. And if you choose to use that option, then don't be surprised when failsafe doesn't work anymore. But the question that got everybody interested in this topic, and I think the, what made everybody convinced that this must be a bug is, why did failsafe seem to work correctly when air mode was configured in the modes tab, but not work correctly when air mode was configured as a feature in the command line? And I'm going to tell you the answer to that. We got to go a little bit deeper into the features here. Remember that failsafe consists of two stages. When the signal is first lost, the quadcopter goes into stage one failsafe, and in this setting, the channels are held, and well, the default is that the roll, pitch, and yaw channels are centered and the throttle is held low. We go to low throttle. The idea of stage one failsafe is that if you have a very quick interruption in radio connectivity, we don't want to just dump the quad in the dirt the minute there's a tiny, tiny microsecond of disrupted connectivity. So we go into fail, stage one failsafe, and it, during stage one, if the signal comes back, the quadcopter will go back to normal operation. So we get a little bit of grace time to try and recover the signal. And then after stage one failsafe times out, we go into stage two failsafe, and that's where the quadcopter completely shuts down and dumps itself in the dirt. The reason that failsafe appeared to work correctly when air mode was set up in the modes tab goes back to the fact that the user was using motor stop. Now motor stop is an option that causes the motors not to spin when the quadcopter is armed if the throttle is all the way down. When the quadcopter went into stage one failsafe, the default position for the throttle channel was zero, and therefore motor stop stopped the motors. It looked like the quadcopter successfully went into stage two failsafe, but in fact it didn't because he disabled it. The reason that failsafe appeared to work incorrectly when air mode was enabled as a feature from the command line goes back to the fact that air mode overrides motor stop. So as long as air mode is active, the motors will not stop spinning regardless of the throttle position. So when the quadcopter went into stage one failsafe, 
the throttle went to zero, but the motors kept spinning because air mode was active, and the quadcopter never went into stage two failsafe because the user disabled it, therefore the motors just kept spinning forever. There's one other question that stands out though, which is why did the why did air mode not override motor stop when we had air mode on the modes tab? And the reason for that, it just so happens that when the quadcopter went into stage one failsafe and all the channels went to their sort of default positions, it so happens that the default position for the aux channel that this user had air mode on was to disable air mode. So the net effect was that when the quadcopter went into stage one failsafe, air mode was disabled, therefore motor stop became active again and the motor stopped spinning. So the takeaway of this is uh, don't disable failsafe, you freaking numbnuts. And if you do disable failsafe, don't blame Betaflight when your quadcopter keeps spinning its motors after you disconnect the receiver. That's what you told it to do. <laughs> Happy flying.